This is the real Tom Rose, and uh, you need to use a couple of uh, obscure rules dealing with polynomials to uh, to figure this out. So it's first of all, the figure has exterior angles that measure 72 degrees. So you might say, what the heck is an exterior angle? Well, let's draw some exterior angles. So these angles, the ones that you're used to mentioning, to measuring, suppose this is a equilateral triangle, those are interior angles. An exterior angle is what you get if you continue these lines and you measure outside. So exterior angles on a equilateral triangle measure um, 120. So if this question had said, a figure has exterior angles that all measure 120, then the figure is A, and the answer would be triangle. Right? We know that's a regular shape here because all the angles have the same measure. So what we have to do is just go through our set of, we've, we've tried triangle, that's not it. We just need, we need to keep going through the list and seeing, um, seeing what it is. So if we do a square, um, these all measure 90. If you continue these on, square outside measures also 90. So it's not a square. So let's keep going. Let's get even bigger. So let's make a pentagon. All right, and a pentagon has... Now, first of all, what's the, what is the interior angle of a pentagon? Well, the sum, remember the sum of the angles equals the number of sides minus 2 times 180. This is a weirdo rule. Number of sides minus 2 times 180 is equal to the sum of angles. So if you have 5 sides minus 2, that's 3, times 180 is, uh, what's that, 540? Yeah. So the sum of the interior angles is 540. Let's divide that by 5, and you'll get 108. So this is 108. Now, the exterior angle, therefore, will be 180 minus 108, which is 72. And bingo, that is your, that's your shape, the pentagon.